She's a Hollywood legend. Diane, look at me, look at me, Diane. And a style icon for generations. La di da, la di da. From baby boomers to Gen Z. You know, these pocket computer photo albums are actually my job these days. And now, Diane Keaton is bringing her unique self to a new movie. <laughs> in the cross-generational rom-com Mac and Rita. Oh my God, somebody help me, this is not me! Keaton plays the glamorous 70-something Rita, who morphs from her 30-year-old self Mac after a mishap inside a dubious healer's tanning bed during a trip to Palm Springs. I laid down in that pod, and when I came out, I was in this body! How would you describe what happens to Mac that turns her into Rita? An opportunity to be somebody else for the first time. An opportunity to fly away and do it and not be so contained. And it happens in a tanning booth? Yeah, it happens in a tanning booth where things are strange and new. Those are my likes. Rita is dynamic, fun, and something of a social media influencer. Just like Keaton, the main inspiration for the viral coastal grandmother fashion aesthetic. What is coastal grandmother, you ask? A social media trend where millennial TikTokers like Lex Nicoletta idolize the breezy sense of style depicted in films like Something's Gotta Give. What's with the turtlenecks? It's the middle of summer. No, seriously, why do you care what I wear? How does it make you feel that you are the face of Aging. fashion movement? <laughs> From tweens on TikTok all the way up to your contemporaries. I'm just surprised anybody would think about that at all. Really? It's nice. First of all, I like fashion. So, you know, I'm always curious about it. Always interested in whatever style was going on. I'm more like, hey, that's interesting what you're wearing, like what you're wearing today. I'm going for coastal grandson. <laughs> oh, I see. Anything you wear, by definition, is coastal grandmother. Yeah, how did that begin, by the way? On social media. On social media, but how? Because I, I how mean, does anything go viral? You, because you are you. Did you have a say in what Rita wore on screen? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. What'd you think? You don't care about yes, what I, I do. Yes, I do. It's a, you oh, you are like a, women's fashion. I like your fashion. <laughs> Look at him. Everyone He's does. Just... The core of Mac and Rita is a meditation on figuring out who, who you, you are, are right. and living accordingly. That's how right. do you do that in your life? Barely. Honestly, I live it really based on who my mother was and what she told me about life, what she gave to me about life. And so therefore, I plowed my way through. Do you know? I mean, I was nothing special. Keaton's career spans over half a century and includes four Oscar nominations and one win. There's something about you that transcends generations. I don't feel like I've transcended anything particularly, except that I've been very fortunate to have uh, many opportunities that came my way. Not many people ever have met the moment for decades upon decades. Well, yes, I'm fortunate. Yeah. I don't know why. You don't know why? No. <laughs> for many Keaton fans, perhaps one of her most iconic roles was one of her first. Michael, why did you come here? Why? K in The Godfather. I went to acting school and then uh, I had an audition for a, a movie because like when you're, you know, you were at that time you would audition for anything in order to get a job. So I found myself getting a job with The Godfather. Uh, yeah. I was nobody. Al, they didn't want Al, they didn't want Al, so they brought me up there and they put me with Al and then Al got it. And, and the then, rest was yes, it Here was. Hello, I'm Max Aunt Rita. The 76-year-old is also reflective on her current role in Mac and Rita. It was fantastic. First of all, it was a chick flick. We got to do all kinds of things that you usually don't have the opportunity to do. Everybody had a little story of their own. Mine was mine. And, and I just thought that that was something you don't see very often. Another part of the core of this movie is Mac is a 30-year-old woman searching for meaning and purpose. What would you now tell 30-year-old Diane Keaton? I wouldn't do it because, first of all, what made my life interesting was I had freedom, you know, that I had the opportunity to make my choices with time as it went on. I wouldn't go back to the 30-year-old and here's how you do anything. For me, I just, I'm sorry, but I just go back to my mother, to Dorothy Hall to the greatest woman, to the person who gave me all these opportunities and who said, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And so that's what I did. Keaton's legacy in film today officially etched in cement in Hollywood at the world famous Chinese theater. I just feel very grateful. An icon's image imprinted among the legends of show business on display for years to come.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.